Hello, my name is Dr. Haley Connolly. I'm one of the pediatric and adult audiologists here at Lee Health, and today I'm going to show you how to do some standard hearing aid cleaning. So here are some of the supplies that we will be reviewing today for our standard behind the ear with the receiver wire hearing aid and our more custom uh, BTE hearing aids with the custom mold piece. If you have this style hearing aid with the thin wire and the removable rubber tip on the end, this is how we're going to clean it. So first, I'm gonna take the hearing aid here. If you have one of these little brushes, it's kind of like a bristle brush, it helps to kind of brush off the top of the hearing aid where we have these little microphone holes of where the sound goes in, just to make sure that's nice and clear of any debris. Next, we're going to be removing this rubber dome here. So if you can just grip the piece, the end receiver of this hearing aid, and then peel it off and disconnect it like that. If it's hard to grip, you can also grab a tissue, and a tissue can help sometimes grab and remove that piece. Okay. So once that dome rubber tip piece is disconnected, you can put it to the side. And now we're focusing on the inside piece. This is called a wax trap or a wax guard, and it's designed to catch any wax or debris before it goes into the electronic computer component of the hearing aid. So you're gonna take your SeroShield disc. If your wax trap system looks like this circle, this is what we're gonna be using. There is a step one and a step two. The one has a little garbage can right there, so that's how we know that's where the dirty wax trap is going to go. So for this one, we're gonna go into step number one, this empty garbage can. That's where our dirty inside wax trap is going to go. So you're gonna hold that piece and you're gonna land it straight down until you hear a click, you lift it up, and now the old dirty wax trap is sitting in step number one. Now we're going down to number two that has the fresh new one, and inside here is completely empty. So we're gonna go in straight up and down. You're gonna push in until it clicks and lift straight out, and then you can see that that new white tip is right on the inside, and that's how you've changed the wax trap. We then just connect our dome piece back, right underneath, really wiggling it, wiggling it on there nice and tight. And now that's all fresh and good to go. With this system, if your wax traps look like the sticks and they come in these little containers, this is how we're going to clean those. So we're going to, again, first remove the rubber tip dome that goes on the side. If you have this little white circle, that's the wax trap that we're gonna be changing with the sticks. You're gonna take out one of your sticks from the container, and you'll notice one end is empty, and the other end has a replacement. So we're gonna go with the empty end first, and we're gonna stick it straight in, and then we're gonna pull it straight out to remove that dirty wax trap. We're gonna rotate the stick around and then directly just push in the new filter. This is now garbage, we put that on the side. And I always give it an extra little tap to make sure that it's on there nice and tight. And that's changing the wax trap. You just connect back the dome, make sure that's on there nice and secure, and that's changed it. For these more custom hearing aids, the behind the ear with the custom piece, either silicone and acrylic, we're gonna go through how to clean that. First, I always take this little brush and I just brush off these small holes and openings at the top of the hearing aid. Those are the microphone holes where the sound goes in, so you wanna make sure that those stay nice and free from any debris. And then we're gonna turn our attention to this piece at the end. This hole right here is where the sound is coming out. And so we wanna make sure that's always clear from any wax that might get in there before it goes in and plugs up the tubing. You can take a little alcohol prep pad. Sometimes those are great for just kind of wiping these pieces off, just kind of making it nice and free and clear. And then on the end of this wire brush here, we have a little wire metal loop. And that can be used to go in and kind of scoop and clean out any wax before it gets too deep into that tubing. If you see or notice any moisture, any bubbles coming condensation in this tubing or in the tone hook, we have a blower that we're gonna use to kind of puff that out with some air. We're going to unscrew this, it's kind of a left unscrew, and once that's disconnected, then you can connect the blower 
and give it a few pumps of air to really dry out any of that condensation in here. We're going to then reconnect and spin that right back on. And that's how we can make sure that stays nice and clear. You're also going to want to watch out that your tubing does not start to get too hardened. You should have nice bendy flexibility with this hearing aid tubing. Once it gets really hard and stiff, you need to come in so that that can be changed and replaced. I hope some of these demonstrations helped. You can of course come into our clinic and we can review this in person, we can do it for you. But just to save you a trip, this is something that you can do at home and helps keep the hearing aids working efficiently.